Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 10th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at filters. <laughs> okay then guys, so in the last tutorial we went ahead and made this controller right here and we called that Ninja Controller. So now this is controlling the Ninja Controller section on this template, right? Which is here because we said div, then we apply this ng controller directive to it, and we said we want the ninja controller to control this area. Then what we did is we applied this variable, this property, to the scope, and we gave it this data right here, an array of ninja names. So now what we're doing is we're going through those ninja names using ng repeat and we're outputting the ninja each time. Okay. So now I want to talk about filters and filters essentially just change the display of how we output data to the user. So that could be the order of the data or we could prefix the data or do it, um, you know, output it in a particular format like currency. So we're going to go through those now. And to do that, I want to make some slightly more complex data. So I'm going to delete those things right there. And I still want an array, but this time I want an array of objects. And each object is still going to represent a ninja. So within each object, there's going to be a name. And the first one was Yoshi, right? And then there's also going to be a belt. And the belt for Yoshi is going to be green. Okay, so next one. We called Crystal, I think. So we'll say crystal and then the belt color is going to be yellow for her and then after that we want Ryu and then the belt color for Ryu is going to be um, orange and then finally we'll have Sean so name Sean and then the belt color is going to be black all right Cool, so now we've got our array of objects. And I'll just click save and you'll notice that each one of these objects is now being output over here. And that's fine because that's what we're doing. Each one of these objects still represents one ninja and ninja here. Okay, so we're outputting the ninja each time. We're cycling through this array and we're going through each item and we're outputting each item, okay? Because each one is a ninja. So we're outputting the whole object there each time. But we just want the name. So all we need to do is dot notation ninja dot name because that's the name of the property that we want right here, name. And it's just outputting the names now. All right then, so let's add in a filter. So I want to order this alphabetically. So to do that, I'm just going to add in a filter right here. We do a pipe first to add in a filter and then we'll say order by, that is the filter name, colon, and then we want to use single quotations so that we don't escape out of these ones here. And then we're going to pass through what we want to order them by. Now, I want to order them by the name property. So all I need to say is name. If I wanted to order them by the belt, I could have passed through belt. But this time, I want to order it by name. So if I click save now, just watch the order of these over here. Now it goes alphabetically. Okay. Likewise, if I want to reverse this, I can just put a minus right there. Click save, and now it's going to minus the order, uh, well, reverse the order of them. Pretty cool, right? So we can add in more than just one filter if we want. And I'm going to do that. So to do additional filters, we just need to put a pipe in front of every filter. Okay. So the next one I want is called filter. And I'm going to set this equal to a search query. And I'll explain this in a second. But for now, I just want to come up here and add an, oops, what have I done? I want to add an input field type equals text and then we'll set an ng model directive to this to equal search like that so now we've got an input field over here and whenever I type anything in here because we did ng model search it's going to get what I write and it's going to store it in this variable right here okay then we're going to reference this search variable here so say for example I write um, y o s in there then this right here is going to store the string of y o s then we're saying down here filter by search which is y o s so it's going to return any name which has a y o s in it pretty neat right so let's just give this a whirl i'll say y and then it returns all these three because they all have a y in it O, just yoshi okay and i can write yoshi and it remains there now if i write S, it returns everything with an S in it. SH returns everything with an SH in it. And then if I put an A, then it's just Sean that remains. So that is really awesome, guys. We've made a cool little search 
uh, functionality here just by writing a couple lines of code. All right. Now I'm going to show you one more filter and that is the currency filter. So to do that, I'm going to head back over to this controller and I'm going to add in another property on each one of these objects. And this is going to be the rate and this is going to be the hourly rate uh, to hire this ninja, right? So the first one, uh, Yoshi is going to be 50 pounds and we'll just use a number. Um, then the second one is going to be 30 pounds, Crystal. Um, Ryu, let's do rate, is going to be 10 pounds, is a really budget one. And uh, we need to put our commas in here so that it works. And then Sean, the last one is going to be 1,000 pounds and we need the property name, which is rate. Okay, so if we save that now and then head back over here, we want to put the rate next to the name. So all I'll do, I'll just format this a little better so we can see it all. Uh, bring this down here. And then I'll say ninja name, then a little hyphen. Then we're going to use another expression to output the rates. So I'll say ninja dot rate. Okay. And that's going to output the rate. So if I save now, we're just going to get that number right. But I want this to display as a currency. So I'm going to use the currency filter. So I'm going to put the pipe and then I'm going to say currency. And notice one thing here, guys. Um, I'm putting these filters up here in the ng repeat and I'm putting this filter right down here and that's because these filters are concerned with how the ally tags are displayed the order of them or which ones show whereas this one right here is just concerned with how this is displayed you know because we wanted to display it as a currency not just a number so that's why we add this on the expression and that's why we add these ones onto the ng repeat so let me save this now and uh, you'll notice that this turns to dollars okay now if you want something else like pounds all you need to do is a colon, then we do our single quotations and put in a pound sign like that, press save, and now we get pounds, voila. All right, so that is the currency filter. We've also looked at this search filter and we've looked at this order by filter. There's also some more. You can check those out on the AngularJS uh, documentation. So you can see right here, this filter section, we've got currency, uh, date, filter, JSON, limit to, number, order by, etc. So this one, limit to, just limits the amount of results that come back. So we can put this on the ng repeat. Uh, so if we just want to show the, the first three, we could limit to the first three. Um, this one right here turns everything lowercase if you want to take away the capital letters, etc. So you can go here and you can read about each one right there. Okay. We are going to be using filters later on in the playlist also. So uh, if you're not quite understanding this just yet, don't worry because you'll learn by repetition as well. Uh, if you have any questions though, feel free to drop those down below. Otherwise guys, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.